Hey, I'm Kenneth Weichta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly, bi-weekly photo talks about gear I use, all things gear. Today I'm going to talk about an oddball. This is a Bosley. Have you ever heard of these? It's an American-made company, and it's a Bosley twin lens reflex 35 millimeter camera with a leather case and it's red dot intact a lot of them have lost their little red dot that say bosley and it almost looks like a kodak emblem to me from when i first saw it and then i realized it's not kodak it's bosley but it's the model c twin lens reflex i was meeting a friend for a beer at a local town just north of here and I went into this one thrift store and the woman there goes, oh, you are a photographer. Do you want to see? I have some other cameras in the back. And she pulls this out and she said, how much would you pay for that? I go, I pay $15 for it. And she said, yeah, that seems perfectly good to me. And I got to name my own price. And it's a, a little twin lens reflex. I can see the camera that I'm shooting this with right now. And it's got a little focus control. It's got a little double exposure prevention tab so film has to be wound because i guess back in the 50s when this was made a lot of people had problem with double exposures they'd forget to wind the film and then they'd be disappointed because the film camera would shoot again i know Dwayne michaels was a big fan of the argus c3 because you could just photograph on the same frame over and over and not have to wind it but most people didn't want double exposures most people wanted to have the camera shoot a picture and then forward to the next one so this one has a built-in double exposure prevention, although you can defeat it if you want one. And it's a great little sweet little camera that I've been using because I found it when I was with some friends, shot some pictures of them, and it's very, very basic. It's got a, let's see what lens is on there. There's a Wallensack 44 millimeter f3.2, and I think they were touting the fact they went, wider than a 48 or a 50 millimeter back then it's like you can get more into your view with this 44 millimeter that was a big deal it's got an oddball way of working you can actually look through a viewfinder if you want to shoot that way or you can use the twin lens reflex i like using the twin lens and just focusing this way and it's got a, a rangefinder so you can actually fine-tune focus if you want to use the rangefinder to focus there are two windows just like the leica barnex there's a rangefinder focus and then there's a optical viewfinder that you can actually look through to compose but you can focus here you can pop this little magnifier up and you can use that to check the focus as well i just usually do that and there's something about shooting with a tlr either a roloflex is like the grand poobah of you know, wonderful twin lens, but 35 millimeter. And even if you have an F3 or a, an F2, the original F, any of the pro cameras that have the removable prism, you can actually put waist level viewfinders on them. I have a waist level viewfinder on an F3 because I wanted to shoot some 35 millimeter, but I didn't want to have to look through the viewfinder. So twin lens reflex, the Bosley Model C, Twin lens reflex for 35 millimeter. I love it. Again, for a quirky little camera, probably not going to shoot a lot of projects with it. But when I want to go out to, again, shoot something fun, I've only had it for a couple of weeks. And in those couple of weeks, I've been taking it out. And the viewfinder is clear. It's bright. It's simple. And it's not expensive. When you go out, you know, you just take this never ready case off and toss this into the car and keep that for another day. And then you have a way you can just pop open the hood, take some pictures. Nobody even notices you. Uh, one thing I've noticed is when you shoot a twin lens reflex, roller flex or this, and you're looking down into it, nobody is assuming you're making pictures. They're assuming you're looking at something and taking care of some kind of a setting. And they assume you're not taking pictures. So you could be shooting them all day long and they won't even look at the camera. And that's the beauty of a twin lens. You could be right next to them and they will not really be aware of what's going on because they're not familiar with the design but it's a wonderful little design a little oddball camera there's plenty of these online they're not very expensive and this one was a 15 dollars little deal how could i say no that's how i get too many cameras 
I find them when I'm meeting a friend for lunch. Next thing I know, hey, I've got another camera. All right, I get to talk to you about them. Hey, yes, Hayes Photography Talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. I welcome your comments. If you can support, hit the Patreon. I'll be back next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.